computer. Okay. So before you can add audio, you need to create it. And I don't know how comfortable you guys are with creating audio, <clears throat> but the important thing about the audio is you have to create it as, or convert it as a WAV file, W-A-V. Maya is very particular about the kind of files that you use. Um, so I know I have something in my, um, let's see, actually I was just showing my uh, character animation students um, lip sync. So if I go into the lip sync folder sound, we have this audio file. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it into my primitive theater folder, sound, paste. So now it's in the correct folder for this project. So it's gonna always find it. Um, so I go to file, import, and then I go to my primitive theater sound file, SC1 audio, and I hit import. And you should see at the at, on the timeline, you should see a green bar down here. If I hit play, it's quiet for 100 frames. Actually, it's quiet for more than that. Um, I'm gonna right click on this and I go to audio. So just again, I right click on the timeline and it gives you all these menus. I go to audio and you can see I have a whole bunch of different um, files. I'm gonna select SC1 audio, but I also need to um, see where it's at on my, uh, it's not visible on my timeline yet because I moved it. So audio, I'm gonna click the options box. And you can see it's set to frame 1551 because I have a big old file and it's uh, you know a lot of frames. So my audio is way down at frame 1551. If I change that to frame, you know I'm gonna have you guys animate starting at frame 100 or 101. So if I hit 101, you can see my audio here starts um, at frame 101. Um, but again, I don't want you guys starting your animations at frame 100. You're actually going to, I'm sorry, at zero or at one, you're going to actually start your frames at 101. So I'm going to change this down here to 101. And that's where my actual animation will start, which means my audio, if I just start my audio right at frame 101, um, there's going to be some of it that's clipped off at the beginning. So I'm going to offset this. 24 frames, so it starts at frame 125. So that gives me about a second before um, the audio actually comes in. And that's important because you need to give your audience enough time to um, understand the, the scene, unless you have like a track of music that's going between shots and you know that's a different story. But if you just have an audio, and I'll just hit play on this. So, um, yeah, give yourself at least 25 frames. So you start your animation at frame 101. You're gonna actually start your audio at frame 125. And then, you know, however long it's gonna be, hopefully it's not super long because you guys don't have a lot of um, frames to animate. Um, but this this frame, this animation is about 720 frames or, or you know, 620 without the 100. Um, and that's pretty much it. The other thing to show you with, with audio is how to uh, delete it. This um, delete sound, you would think this would be natural, always in there, but uh, this is just a recent addition to uh, Maya. They didn't used to have this, so you just have this accumulation of, of sound files you couldn't get rid of. So I'm gonna go to delete sound, delete audio. And now it's, now it's not there. So again, it was just import or file, import, and then make sure you put it into the sound file of your primitive theater project and you just say import, right click, go to audio, you know, select your um, audio file and set it probably to frame 125 or so and then hit enter and go back to and turn it on by selecting that audio clip, the button for it, and then it'll play. And um, the audio, Sometimes you're going to want to turn it off and on because as you're scrubbing through it, you know, it's, it's kind of staticky and kind of, it's annoying to listen to. So 
You may want to turn it off and on sometimes as you're animating. You can just turn it off and it's gone, but you haven't deleted it. Um, but especially when you're animating to lip sync, you actually need to hear where the vowels are hitting and you know if you, whatever sound you're, you're animating to. And this is going to make animation much easier for you if you have a soundtrack. I've said this before. It's easier to animate to a soundtrack because it kind of tells you where things need to happen. So do you guys have any questions about importing an audio file? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the video here. Stop screen sharing and then stop the video. Let's see. Stop recording.